12,800 years ago, our planet experienced a catastrophic event that modern science is only beginning to understand. Scattered across North America, Europe, and Asia, lies a distinct layer of sediment containing platinum levels 600% higher than the surrounding Earth. This platinum, a metal rare on Earth but common in asteroids and comets, appears alongside nano-diamonds that can only form under extreme pressures of cosmic impacts. At precisely the same geological moment, Earth plunged into a brutal cold period. Global temperatures dropped by up to 15 degrees Celsius within decades, and more than 35 genera of large mammals vanished from the Americas. This wasn't a slow extinction. It was an abrupt planetary cataclysm that fundamentally altered human history. What we've been taught about ancient human development follows a neat, linear progression. Primitive hunter-gatherers slowly developed agriculture around 10,000 years ago, then gradually built settlements that evolved into the first civilizations by 5,000 years ago. It's a comforting narrative of steady progress. But the physical evidence tells a dramatically different story one of advanced knowledge erased by cosmic violence, of potential civilizations wiped from history by a celestial hammer that struck Earth with the force of millions of nuclear bombs. If you want more evidence-based investigations that challenge what we were taught, subscribe now. But before we accept this revolutionary perspective, let's look at the evidence layer by layer. The geological record provides our most compelling physical evidence. Dr. James Kennett, Professor Emeritus of Earth Science at UC Santa Barbara, identified a black mat layer across more than 50 archaeological sites in North America, all dating precisely to 12,800 years ago. Within this layer, his team discovered impact proxies that cannot be explained by terrestrial processes. Platinum spikes six times normal levels. Nano diamonds in concentrations of billions per kilogram. And magnetic spherules with chemical signatures matching extraterrestrial materials. More specifically, these spherules contain high temperature minerals like magnetite, requiring temperatures exceeding 1,800 degrees Celsius to form temperatures impossible to achieve in normal wildfires or volcanic eruptions. At the Younger Dryas boundary site in Abu Huraira, Syria, Dr. Malcolm Lecomte and fellow researchers discovered microscopic impact spherules embedded in building materials. Analysis showed these spherules contained high temperature melted minerals and nanoscale platinum group elements. Conclusive evidence of cosmic material. The data is unequivocal. These materials could only have formed during a cosmic impact, and they appear simultaneously across three continents at the precise onset of the Younger Dryas cooling event. Historical records corroborate this geological evidence. Ancient accounts from around the world describe a time of fire from the sky and subsequent devastation. Plato's account of Atlantis specifically mentions a civilization destroyed by catastrophe around 9,600 BCE, remarkably close to the 10,800 BCE date established by Younger Dryas chronology. The Popol Vuh of the Maya describes a time when black rain fell from the sky and a great destruction occurred. In India, the Mahabharata describes weapons that made the sun and stars appear to tremble and caused mass extinctions. These accounts aren't mere mythology. They correspond directly with physical evidence. Dr. Richard Firestone of Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory has documented that the Carolina Bays, over 500,000 elliptical depressions scattered across the eastern United States, all point back to the Great Lakes region, ground zero for the hypothesized impact. These formations, containing the same impact markers found globally, 
appear to be secondary impacts from ejecta. Literally, the splash pattern from the cosmic collision. Even the inventory Stella from ancient Egypt references a time when the south becomes north and the earth turns over. This exact scenario, a potential temporary geomagnetic excursion, is documented in sediment cores precisely at the Younger Dryas boundary, when Earth's magnetic field may have briefly destabilized. The astronomical evidence delivers perhaps the most precise confirmation. Dr. Martin Swetman of the University of Edinburgh has decoded ancient symbols at Gobekli Tepe in Turkey. The world's oldest known monumental structure at 11,600 years old. His peer-reviewed research demonstrates these carvings record astronomical conditions that could only have occurred during 10,950 BCE, the exact time of the Younger Dryas onset. The symbols specifically reference the constellation Taurus, where the Taurid meteor stream, the remnants of the same fragmenting comet, still persists today. Using precession calculations, we can verify that these alignments mathematically confirm the dating, the carvings at Gobekli Tepe encode specific astronomical knowledge that matches computer models of stellar positions from 12,800 years ago, not from later periods. This correlation is mathematically precise, with a probability against random chance of over 1 in 15,000 according to Dr. Swetman's statistical analysis. I've analyzed three more ancient sites with similar evidence. Subscribe so you don't miss the next investigation. The implications of this evidence are profound. Rather than primitive hunter-gatherers, the builders of Gobekli Tepe possessed sophisticated astronomical knowledge, stoneworking skills, and architectural expertise all allegedly before humans had even developed agriculture. This suggests that advanced knowledge existed prior to the impact and was preserved by survivors. Sites like Gobekli Tepe, built immediately after the Younger Dryas, may represent not the beginning of civilization, but an attempt to rebuild after catastrophic loss. The cosmic impact would have generated continent-spanning wildfires evidenced by charcoal and soot concentrations 100 times normal levels across North America. Computer models by Dr. Ted Bunch of Northern Arizona University show that airbursts from the fragmenting comet would have produced shockwaves equivalent to thousands of Hiroshima bombs, creating hurricane force winds that flattened forests across continents. The injection of dust and aerosols into the upper atmosphere would have blocked sunlight for years causing the rapid cooling observed in ice core records from Greenland. This wasn't just a climate shift. It was an extinction-level event that potentially wiped out advanced human communities. Pre-impact population densities show a dramatic collapse precisely at the Younger Dryas boundary, with North American human populations requiring over a thousand years to recover to previous levels. Mainstream archaeology has raised several objections to this hypothesis. Critics argue that no impact crater has been found, that evidence is inconsistent across sites, and that the abrupt cooling could be explained by glacial meltwater disrupting ocean circulation. These critiques deserve examination. The lack of a crater is easily explained by the nature of the event a fragmented comet that exploded in the atmosphere over the North American ice sheet would not necessarily leave a conventional crater. Dr. Alan West has documented evidence of four separate airbursts across North America. Similar to the 1908 Tunguska event in Siberia, which flattened 80 million trees without creating a crater, these cosmic airbursts would leave geochemical signatures without a visible impact structure, especially when occurring over ice. Regarding inconsistent evidence, this criticism has been systematically dismantled by improved sampling techniques. 
A 2022 study published in Scientific Reports confirmed identical platinum anomalies at 26 separate sites across four continents, with identical dating to 12,800 years ago. The statistical probability of this global synchronicity occurring by chance is effectively zero. As for the melt-water hypothesis, it fails to explain the presence of extraterrestrial materials, nano-diamonds, and high-temperature melted minerals found precisely at the younger driest boundary. While meltwater may have played a role in climate changes, it cannot explain the full suite of evidence, particularly the impact proxies found globally. This cosmic catastrophe wasn't an isolated event. Similar evidence has been found at other pivotal moments in Earth's history. The Gothenburg magnetic excursion, the Black Sea deluge, and the collapse of late Bronze Age civilizations all show similar impact markers, suggesting cosmic impacts may have repeatedly reset human civilization. Gobekli Tepe stands as a monument to survivors who preserved astronomical knowledge across generations. Similar sites like Nabta Playa in Egypt, Gunung Padang in Indonesia, and the newly discovered underwater structures off Japan's Yonaguni Island all date to the post-Younger Dryas recovery period, potentially representing not the birth of civilization, but its rebirth. The megalithic constructions at these sites share impossible engineering similarities. Precision-cut, multi-ton stones fitted without mortar, astronomical alignments to precession cycles, and water collection systems suggesting advanced hydraulic knowledge. These commonalities across sites separated by thousands of miles indicate a shared source of knowledge predating the conventionally accepted timeline of human development. Subscribe for evidence-based investigations into ancient mysteries mainstream science won't touch. My next video examines the mathematical impossibilities of Puma Punku's stone construction and the evidence for advanced machining technology in prehistory. What other ancient sites should I investigate? Drop your suggestions below.